morning, John. Good morning. <laughs> Bright and early. Le ciel bleu. Right, we are early morning. Morning, beautiful sunny Paris. And we are going to start our uh, photo shoot for the day. I'm not sure what to expect, but it's about to be a treat either way. I love France. Um, uh, this doing this photo shoot actually allowed me to see some of the place that I've visited. Most of the time, is, I don't get to see any of it. So, so to be able to drive around and, and uh, take my own pictures was a nice change of pace. Hopped in a van and was just kind of just mean to other people and all you know, included. And we just kind of drove around France, all of France, and uh, stopped where we felt where he felt like there was a good location. And it was real. Real low key, but a lot of the great shots we got were, were from that shoot. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I may have just been pickpocketed, <laughs> but I'm hoping I, I wasn't. I was bent over like this shaving, and these guys were walking behind me, and I was thinking, no, I'd feel it if I the wallet. My wallet's not in my back pocket. So I think it's in this bag here, but I can't be certain. 50 euros and a few credit cards and a Starbucks pink card and that's about it. I was just saying in Los Angeles people would be like, what's going on here? What's this van? Is somebody changing out of a van? Here it's just like, oh, photo shoot. <laughs> the girliest process. <laughs> All on tape. Okay, ready to rock? Ready to rock. Yeah, why not? One time like this? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, because there was one coming up like... No, it's still setting up. Yeah. That's better. Yeah, that's better. Yeah, is that too flat? Yeah. Oh, hair is coming up again. Oh, yeah. Hair is coming up. How fast? I want to see what I want. Well, you see, I missed a few hairs while I was shaving this morning because I was in quite a rush, so I'm gonna... Yes, see? See? Yeah. Oh, you still forgot some hair. I did? Yes. Let me get the shaver and you can show me where. Yeah. <laughs> still? Yes. Love you. The idea behind the photo shoot is to is to combine old with new and use what is the brilliant style that is Olaf Hein and combine it with many different surroundings. And I think we've been able to do that uh, through our day in Los Angeles and our two days trekking all over France. I think we've got every, every, uh, every piece of scenery we could possibly want, whether it be some field somewhere here in France or uh, or the, the skyline of downtown Los Angeles. So it's been very, very good and very rewarding and I've already seen a few shots and I'm very excited. The t-shirt's okay for you? It's okay for you? For me, it's okay. Yeah? <laughs> Smarty pants. <laughs> We've been, like, the, the photo shoot we did in Los Angeles was like racks of clothes and somebody's saying, no, 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 these shoes for this and this tie has to be just like this and I've just been wearing, I've been wearing the same shoes for every picture now. The shirt has made at least four of the locations and uh, so we're just kind of slumming it a little bit, but I think they're going to look really good. It's all in the printing, right? Point that camera right over here, because I'm the one who is wicked sexy. <laughs> <laughs> Just gonna French girls. Once again, 
I am flabbergasted. What are you drinking there? This here is tequila and orange juice given to me by the future Mrs. So-and-so. Sitting over there, very, very, very lovely group of, of young ladies. <laughs> Wanted to say hello to someone who they think is somewhat well-known in another country. <laughs> that was their thrill for the evening. What's next? Um, get these photos developed. Pick one. Uh, pick many. And uh, and make make more music and finish the album and hopefully people will like it. Um, end the fear and paranoia and. Uh, and world peace. What's the most remarkable thing that you saw in France, or that you experienced in France? Um, gosh, it's a tough one. Being able to basically fall asleep in the van and wake up in a new town, <laughs> and uh, see a different type of type of uh, type of town, this, this was really amazing. Going to Rumaku and working with. Uh, uh, now a very good friend, Eric Bouquet, and, uh, over there in the songs. Working on the music here has been, has been great. Meeting all, all of the musicians that worked on that and being able to get to know his family. It was just a really wonderful time. And uh, meeting my new German friends here on the Olaf Fine uh, photo shoot uh, these last couple of days. Meeting new friends has been my main good thing. And I've been around a ton of good people this last week and a half, so it's it's been it's been really great. Except for one waiter, the first night in Paris. Other than that, and you know who you are. What can you uh, your fans expect from the new album? Uh, what can they expect from the new album? They can definitely expect um, I think big steps forward and and. Um, in terms of style, but also um, they can expect me to also um, keep with what what worked so well in the first album. I think uh, there's a certain thing that I, I, I feel I do best, and um, I was able to do that as much as I wanted on the first album, and so we're going to keep a lot of that. But um, there are going to definitely be some, some moments in the album that take it a little bit in a different direction. Um, into a direction that is coming from me, not from anybody else, and uh, and I hope they I hope they they like it. I certainly think that they've they've I feel like the fans and uh, have given really, given me permission kind of to to explore a little bit, and so I'm exploring a little bit. But um, but it's all it's all good things. It's all stuff I'm really really proud of, and uh, and all they can they can expect just what they expected on the first album, which is that I'm gonna make it as honestly and as passionately as possible. So we stop, and Lynn's not feeling too good. So we, we get out of the car, and she goes, oh look, berries. So, well first she sees them on the floor, which, okay, there's berries on the floor. Yum, they must be somewhere, they must be somewhere near. Where are they? They <laughs> fell off somewhere. Ooh, berries. Oh. And she takes a berry, and it's already staining everything. And she goes, and I, I'm sitting in the car, and I'm saying, I don't think you should eat those, Lynn. And she says, not all berries have to come from Ralph's, Josh. <laughs> so she eats it, and then everybody comes back over. And she goes, look, look at these berries. Goes, you didn't eat them off the tree, did you? 
<laughs> and you're not evidently not supposed to eat berries off a tree, off a bush is okay. So we're, we're gonna use the last moments of the film here to document Lynn's death. <laughs> uh, I feel better. 